Hi all, welcome back to my channel. This is Dr. Zina speaking. Today we will be speaking about what is split down technique. But before we continue, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below for more and more videos. Split down technique, it is used when restoring multiple teeth in one quadrant. So you will keep punching the holes one by one, no need to locate the teeth. So you will punch them one by one to create a very big hole so that you can place the rubber dam at the end. So not like uh, the normal techniques for the rubber dam in which you will punch like for the uh, one one, the anteriors, like you will punch one hole for one one, you will punch another hole for two one, no. You will punch holes close to one another so that you will end up having the split dam technique. That is uh, one we can use that. Like we can use it for the anterior restorations. Uh, also can be used if we have uh, single crowns. Also it can be used if we have a bridge because we cannot place normal rubber dam in a bridge patient because of the connector that is connecting the abutment teeth. So we need to do the split dam technique for either single crowns, for fixed uh, partial denture, which is the bridge. Okay, and for the anterior restorations, all these we can use the split dam technique. Now, when you are using this technique, the gingiva will be exposed. So how to cover up the gingiva? You can use two materials. One of these is the liquidam. Liquidam will be used to isolate the gingiva. So it is a moisture control material. Once you place the liquidam, you need to light cure it so that it can stay fixed and how you will remove it. After, it can be easily removed via bringing uh, a micro brush. Bring a micro brush or you can remove it, remove it via the Explorer. Dental Explorer will be used to remove the liquidam once you are done with the uh, moisture, uh, with the procedure. Now in the picture, you can see on the right side, the liquidam has been used when this is for the in-office bleaching. Because for the in-office bleaching, we will be using hydrogen peroxide, and this material is very toxic to the gingiva, so we don't want it to cause irritation to the gingiva or to the gum. That's why we need to do a proper isolation for the gingiva before placing hydrogen peroxide. 35% hydrogen peroxide. Before using it, we need to do a proper isolation for the gingiva by using liquid down. Another material that can also be used as a moisture control material is known as opal dam. Now, someone will ask me, what is the difference between opal dam and liquid dam and which one is better? Actually, both are the same thing. Both are good, both are light cured. So you need to light cure them after you apply them. So both are the same thing. So you can use either Opladam or Liquidam. So no one is above the other one. to another microsurgical tutorial. My name is Dr. Alan Ali Nassay and I have a quick tutorial for you for the use of split dams in endodontics as well as this application for regular restorative dentistry. Oftentimes a single hole is made into a rubber dam and the tooth is isolated individually. However, when the tooth cannot be isolated with a clamp uh, or cannot be clamped, a split dam technique is used in which the tooth distal to the tooth in question is clamped and the rubber dam is pulled over uh, that tooth and the tooth in front of it. Here I'm using the clamp, uh, Hugh Freddy's clamp 13A in order to isolate tooth number three and then pull the rubber dam over tooth number four which is going to be treated. After placement of the rubber dam and the clamp in place, the rubber dam is pulled through. Here I'm using the mesial area of tooth number five to secure the rubber dam. 
generally running the rubber down through the contact area might be enough. However, passing a floss through that will secure the rubber dam better. You could also use widgets. There's a product that is a, a thicker type of a rubbery floss that keeps the rubber dam in place. Then this uh, product by Ultradent called Opal Dam it may be used, which is essentially a, a light cured resin that is applied to the area. This material is also used during bleaching uh, in the anterior area to isolate the gums uh, and keep them away from uh, the hydrogen peroxide. Here the application is to seal the areas of uh, the gingiva and exposed, exposed gingiva and areas around the rubber dam where potential leakage of the saliva and air from the patient's breath is possible. And also this In summary, a split dam technique from the name split dam. So you will split the dam, you'll create a big hole commonly used for the anterior restrictions if you want to do an multiple anterior restrictions so we rather than punching one hole for each tooth we can do the split tan technique another thing we can use it also for single crowns as well as for the fixed partial denture which is for the bridge patients because normally we cannot use any rubber dam for the bridge patients because there is a connector in between that will obstruct the rubber dam to go down so therefore we can use the split dam technique now as i said we have two materials that can be used as a moisture control material liquid dam and the opal dam both of these are the same thing there is no one has an advantage that the other does not have because both are the same both should be light cured after you place either the liquid dam or opal dam you need to light cure it in order to set after it's set after you are done with the procedure whether in the office bleaching or the anterior restrictions you want to remove the rubber dam but you cannot remove the rubber dam until unless you remove the the moisture control materials that we have used either the liquid dam or the opal dam and how these can be removed by either using uh, the tip of the explorer or the micro brush, they can be easily removed. And that's it. Thank you all for watching my video. If you have any questions or in you are, if you are in doubt of anything, please do ask in the comment section below and I will be more than happy to answer your questions. Goodbye now.